Rose and the Golden Flower Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, there lived a kind and caring princess named Rose. Rose was beloved by all who knew her, for she was always willing to lend a helping hand and show compassion to those in need. Her kingdom was prosperous and peaceful, and the people lived in harmony with the natural world that surrounded them. One day, a powerful sorceress came to the kingdom. She was named Morgana, and she was filled with jealousy and spite. Morgana saw the happiness of the kingdom and became filled with a deep-seated desire to destroy it. So, she cast a spell over the land, causing a great darkness to descend. The skies turned gray, the rivers ran black, and the trees withered and died. Rose knew that she had to act quickly to save her people and restore the kingdom to its former glory. She called upon the wisest scholars and advisors in the land to come up with a plan. They determined that the only way to break the curse was to find the mythical golden flower, which was said to possess the power to heal the land and drive away the darkness. Rose was determined to find the golden flower, but she knew that it would not be an easy journey. She gathered her most trusted advisors and set out on a perilous journey into the heart of a dense, enchanted forest. The forest was filled with magical creatures, some of which were friendly, and some of which were not. As they journeyed deeper into the forest, they encountered a family of fairies who had been captured by a group of goblins. The fairies begged for Rose's help, and she bravely took on the goblins, freeing the fairies and earning their gratitude. Further along their journey, they came across a river that was guarded by a powerful serpent. The serpent was fierce and would not let them pass. Rose knew that she had to act quickly, and so she summoned all her courage and spoke to the serpent with kindness and respect. The serpent was moved by her words and allowed them to pass. Finally, after many days of travel, they arrived at the golden flower. The flower was guarded by a powerful dragon, but Rose knew that she had to reach it. She approached the dragon with respect and spoke to it kindly. She explained her mission, and the dragon was moved by her words. It allowed her to take the golden flower. Rose returned to her kingdom with the golden flower, and with its magic, the darkness was lifted and the land was healed. The skies turned blue, the rivers ran clear, and the trees bloomed with life once again. The animals of the kingdom were healed, and the people rejoiced. Rose was hailed as a hero and beloved by her people for generations to come.